All right, guys. So I am here with uh, fan collector uh, Jeffrey Robinson, and we're starting upstairs in the master bedroom. And there are two Fanimation embraces. There's one right there. These were uh, these can be 48 or 52 inch, and like they came with two blade sets each. It was weird. And also, if you don't want to like it, they come with like a metal cover. Uh, it looks better with the light, in my opinion. Yeah. And these are the remotes here. Are these learning remotes? Uh, no, these are just the remotes that came with them. I don't understand the learning remote. It just seems way too complicated for me, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty dumb, so I wouldn't be able to set them up properly. So yeah, we're gonna head to the uh, next room. Right. <clears throat> hey, oh, oh, that's your cat right there. Yeah. Here are my sister's Wow, bedroom. these stairs aren't very... It's very steep by now. Here in my sister's bedroom is a Harbor Breeze, I think it's Ochre Coke. Oh, oh. This one's pretty dirty too, it runs like 24-7. Yeah, so I, uh, she she has some uh, uh, stars on Oh, them. that's nothing. You should see my fan. My fan's like covered in them. Oh. It's, it's awesome when I have black lights on and whenever I have parties. Oh, my friends love it. <laughs> That's just on a regular switch. Yeah, okay, I'll turn that back on like that. And okay. then next we'll go into, I guess you, you can probably tell this is my room. Oh yes, this is your room right here. Pardon the mess, but... Oh yes, it's got a uh, black bulb and a also, red bulb. It's also got like stick. I have, um, I just put that on there for fun. I think I was drunk and I have Fortino stickers on it too. Oh yeah. Oh, it's just about to, there we go. Oh. Yeah, it's back into place. And uh, actually, these blades came kind of warped, except for this one. This one, I had it I had it sitting off, and I had a heater on, like, right around there. And the, uh, from all the heat going up, I left it on all night. It completely warped the hell out of this blade. I was not, I, can't, I still oh. can't fix it. I'm still oh, yeah, where's the heater? Hmm? Oh, yeah, where's the heater? Oh, it's in the garbage now, because oh. it just, just randomly decided to stop working. Because in the winter, this room gets super cold. Like, it's ridiculous. In the summer, you need at least two fans to sleep. But yeah, I'm still looking for a new blade. These are actually like older, like the, the darker can arm with the actual, it's real cane. Uh, it's a really nice fan. I've had, I think, three other fans in here. But this, when I moved in, there used to be an SMC Park Avenue, and then that died. Oh. And then I had a Hunter Augusta, and then that just, I think I broke it somehow. Ooh. And then I had the Banville Rivera, and that didn't survive a high school party. Oh, dude. And then there's this one. I'm telling my friends if they break it, they have to buy me a new one. The Banville Revere is a really rare fan. I, I've only seen there's only, I've only seen one in my area, and it's in my town. It's a. Uh, Wasn't there like the sub that camp you went to as a kid? Yeah, as a kid, I, it was a it was a camp I went to. Ah. I went back there and revisited. Oh, you did? Yeah. Not I, bad. And I get this close. And then this room. Oh, this is where the can arm gallery is. This is the spare room. Yeah. Uh, oh, switch isn't on. There we go. Yeah, I got this. This fan has quite the story. This was in my grandma's apartment for a couple of years. This sat unused longer than it was used with her. It just sat in a box in her basement for like the longest time. And then my grandma told me I could have it one day. And then when she passed away, I saw the box sitting there. And I, she even wrote a note that since she even wrote on the box, it was in for Jeff. And it was missed from how many times it's been dismantled and my uncle didn't know what he was doing. He lost the mounting bracket, the canopy, and the downrod ball. This was all like a kit I bought from Lowe's. Oh, that's and, the, that's the yeah, canopy? Yeah, it's like a whole, the canopy, ball, and bracket is all like from Lowe's. It's like a Harbor Breeze vaulted ceiling hmm. kit. What happened to the original? I honestly have no idea. I, know, I don't know where they went. I looked for them forever. I couldn't find them, but it's got quite the power. I was surprised what how powerful it was. I actually... <laughs> Actually, I pitched the blades more than from factory, and it blows. It still runs really fast and blows a oh, yeah. nice amount of air for just a 36 inch. I've actually got a story about this fan. Oh yeah. At uh, at one of my uh, <coughs> workers' uh, houses, uh, she was my tutor. Um, yeah. Her bedroom, the she had this fan in her bedroom, and you know what? It was like, it was actually flush mounted to the canopy. Oh really? I and also, this. and what happened? Uh, it was it was not in the ceiling well. It was like falling out of the uh, ceiling, and uh, probably just wobbling like all hell. Uh, she didn't. She never used it. She always kept the switch off because she was worried it would be a fire hazard because it wasn't in properly. 
The same thing happened in the worst her that would happen was the wires would just break apart and there'd be like a yeah. small spark and the fan would fall and the wires usually fall apart. So yeah, and even and even uh, half of the glass on the, the globe uh, broke. Like not the whole globe, but a really? bit of the top where, you, where it gets screwed in. Oh wow. But See, uh, the original mushroom glow that came with this one, I was uh, test mounting it in my basement. I thought I'd put it on all the way, I, bu I bumped it, it just came loose, it just fell right on the ground and I'm like, oh. And also, her, her brother's uh, room also had this, so I, didn't, I never got to see it when I went over there, but she told me it had that, this fan and it was also falling out of the ceiling. So he, <laughs> he replaced it with a Canar Mystic. So I actually saw the Canar Mystic. Yes. Alright, well, I'll take you out of this room, I can just leave the chains on to shut the switch off. Alright, and now next is the kitchen. Let's see, Hampton the, Bay uh, Windward. Yeah, I think it's like Windward 4, Windward 5, something like that, I don't know. And it's also, yeah, sorry, it's a little dirty, I haven't cleaned it in like two weeks. Mm. It does not take long for this thing to get like severely dirty because it's like, it's always on. But yeah, I'll, I'll turn it, I'll turn it to high first so you can really see the power of those blades. Does the light work on this? Oh yeah. It was on this, this, because when we moved here, the har that's, where, that's where the Harbor Breeze Ochre Coke was. And then we replaced it with one of those likewise, those you know those likewise huggers from Canadian Tire, like the brushed nickel ones? Oh, uh, yeah. Like there's the cookie cutter, we have one of those in here, and then the water limiter fried. And oh, then yeah. the chain broke, I tried to fix the chain, I hooked the wires up wrong, I pulled it for a high, all you hear is and break our chip, and I'm like, I just shorted the motor. Uh -oh. It was nothing special. Then we replaced it with this, and this has been here. Actually, for the longest time, this one was actually falling out of the ceiling. It was held on by one screw. Oh. Then one day I was sick of how much it shook and how like it was just waiting to fall down. I went up there, but I don't know if, oh yeah, I just put a bunch of washers so it would actually grab onto the box and now it's like, it's as tight as can be. Oh yeah. Turn her down to medium. Well, there's actually one other place. It's kind of too bad you can't put a fan in. Is is in the living room because there's no electrical yeah, box. I know I wanted to like go in the attic and put electrical in there, but my my dad's like, no, we don't want a ceiling fan in the living room, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> that's that's actually the same thing with Dan uh, at his parents' house. He wanted to put one in their living room, but his yeah. his mom said no. And then I, when I was there, I actually I said to him, but there's no electrical, and he says I can put an electrical. Oh, it's not hard. You just gotta know what you're doing because you don't want to overload any circuits, or else you're gonna have your breakers constantly <laughs> tripping. Another and actually, when I become an electrician, I have to rewire this entire house. The wiring is a joke. Uh, another thing that uh, another thing you could do is get a, a, a swag kit. That's what Reese did in his living room. He put a swag kit in to have a fan in there. Yeah. Swag kits look like way too 90s for my mom. All right, I'll turn the light off now. See, what I wanted to put in the dining room was my bro in Alaska is because of how slow the low speed is. Just like throw it, just put it on low for eating in there, or if it's like more on high, throw it in updraft. Uh, yeah. All right, now I can show you. The, I, I think there's two fans in my basement. I know. Isn't one of them a can or mystic? Uh, no, I took that one down just because it was getting hit too much. I think we've ever those blades back. In here is like where I keep my drums. And there used to be this 36 inch for living Nordica, but it was moving like barely any air. And I got this off Marketplace for free. Mm, yeah, yeah, the ad was free, said it was sitting on the curb. I drove there and grabbed it, and she's like, I don't know if you did, but someone took it off the curb. I'm like, yeah, it was me. And uh, it's this is, again, not the original globe. The original globe is actually right here, and you can probably hear it. Oh, it's, it's broken again. Yeah, I, some, I broke it on the way home. I pulled it out and dropped it on this. And I'm like, oh, oh yeah, and this is just what I had hanging there because this is all connected. And this, that's the only light I have in here. But yeah, oh. here. It's, it's okay for what it is and just where I need it in here for. It's just to like move air around if I'm in here. And as long as I can walk under the blades, I really don't care. <laughs> yeah, because this one was just, this one barely moved any air down there. Oh, this one here. Yeah, it's a nice looking fan, but it moves like no air. I've, I've seen one of those before. Don't they sell that at Walmart? Uh, no, they sell them at Canadian Tire. They're like 200 oh, yeah. They are $230 a Canadian Tire. I got that brand new in the box at Value Village for $8. Oh. Box wasn't even open. I was surprised. But this isn't like all that all that bad. I can probably pitch yeah. the blades a little more. Doesn't 
I, I'm trying to remember, doesn't your local Valley Village have a few fans installed in the store and there were some uh, that got removed? No, there, that's not my local one. My local one's got no fans. That's one that's on the mountain. It's got a old Canar Pleasant Air and a Silver Line. And I don't remember, I've, there must have been, or that must have been from like another store that they just converted. Oh, like probably for a desk maybe? Maybe, yeah. Because I did see one electrical box and a blue moon, but like, I don't think there was like fans around the entire store. Well, however... I my one my other local Valley Village, which recently opened, uh, well, it opened in 2016, has a uh, Banville Energy Star lines throughout the store. Oh really? Yeah. That was a mini ceiling fan. Let me tell you, the blades break on those so easily. Like it takes no force. Like they've all snapped off by now. Oh wow, this thing's this thing looks really cute. Oh I know, it's it's nice. It still works. I think it's plugged in. Actually, uh. Reese has got one of these. Yeah, I'm done buying them. They're so cheaply made, and because of how I am with my, like, it's just not they break so easily. All right, I put it back on high. The low speed, I do not like the low speed on this fan. It's way too fast. So this is a can arm hugger? Yeah, it's like, it's got like the weird shaped motor. Actually, I posted a picture of the motor itself in the group, and it was a really funky shape. Actually, on uh, my, one of the, my local bowling alley, a bowling alley in my town has um, two of these. Really? And I'll show you another one of my favorite. I'll show you one of my favorites in my workshop. Oh yes. I'll just go ahead and shut that. Oh yeah, here we are. This is where all our fans that we're gonna test today are. But up here, I got free off the job. Hex and Bay Minuet. I never, th I've never seen one in Canada before, and I put the bleached oak side down because it matched my shot. I think I have just the CFL on there just cause. Oh yeah, this thing is like, this thing's on chain. This one's wicked powerful. I think, it's ridiculous. I'm trying to think if this was also in the States branded uh, turn of century. Uh, I don't think so. That would be like the hugger. Cause I know, yes. cause I know they have the Hanson Bay. Min I know the Minuet series is all through the US. Or, I've never seen one in Canada until or I'm I trying found this one. Or I'm, well, I'm trying to think if it, if it was mainstays as well. Maybe. Cause actually, uh, speaking of the turn of the century six blade hugger, uh, Gabe Justice just made a video of it. Oh, really? Yeah, this. Uh, maybe yesterday. Oh, yeah. he put, he put, I saw it this morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. And this is like one of the same fans that Mountain Lanes has. It's just this one's going to my friend. Oh. And she wanted a fan in her room, so I'm like, I can give you this one. But yeah, that's low speed on this. Oh, there's those, there's those globes that have the. Oh, those are my favorite. I would like. And actually, I would die inside if I. Let me broke. let me tell you something. Uh, my my aunt and uncle's uh, old house, they had two of those fan, two of those spinner fans with those globes on, oh, yeah. on it. One in the, one in, over their kitchen table and one over the dining room table. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, but I was, I was a very young kid when they uh, had them. I don't know if anyone's in. Oh, there's another one of my box fans. I know Reese said for to like that. This uh, one's. This yeah, one's still got most of the screws. This one's in probably the better shape. The one in my garage is in horrible shape. This one, I don't know if anyone likes vintage fans, but I got this at an antique store for. Oh yeah, bucks. some some who like who are into this stuff. I think Reese is also into this. Oh yeah. Kind I don't even know well. what brand it is. I I, didn't, I don't even remember seeing a brand that you were on it, but it's actually really powerful for how little it is. And my freeze is kind of wobbly. So every now and again, from it being tossed back, it just tilts up. And this one, I've. I've actually surprisingly never cut myself on, even though I almost have a bunch of times. And I'm trying to see if I can find a brand on here. Hmm. I think my mom just texted me. Uh, K&M. Let me see I say it's like said. Nat Monarch, if that's a brand, if someone could let me know, that'd be great. Because I've had this thing for years, and I would never know what it was. Hmm. So, I understand uh, you only post fan videos on your on Facebook. Yeah. Because your YouTube channel is just more for other stuff. Yeah, plus a lot of my friends follow my YouTube, so... And only, only like select few of my friends actually know I like fans. Like my, like my very close friends know. Other than that, I don't usually tell that many people. Well, you know, there's some there's some collectors who use their YouTube channel for fans and other stuff. Yeah. Uh, Just be careful with this, cause I, I've hit my head off of it. No of fans over there. I got a ton of fluorescent lights there. Yeah, I know. The middle one is actually, it's, it's just always off. It doesn't work. All right, well, now as part of the tour, I can yes. show you the uh, what's it called? I can. You can actually see the silver line in the garage. Oh yeah. I guess I can make this part part of the tour. Oh my god, it is so hot now. My glasses are fogging up. Oh my goodness. You should have a fan right here. Oh, you know I would, but when the door opens, the, oh, the right. end of the door comes like right here, like like and two inches away, and I'm like, yeah, I wish. And this, 
Again, this is not really the best spot for a fan. Just because of how low the ceilings are, I would get hit so many times. I actually wish I had a bigger garage. Oh, really? Because the garage I have is too small, and I have to always store my fans downstairs. <laughs> oh, I'm just showing a fan here. I believe we've lived in this house for four, no, we're going on five years now. There's, yeah. and here's the silver line. This is like, this is like my most prized possession, just cause like, I don't know, like I went to rescue the other four, but like all my friends were like, yeah, Jeff, I'm so down to come help you. Whenever a day would come where I want to go, they're like, nah, man, I can't, nah, man, I'm not feeling it tonight. And I'm like, okay. And then when they put the fence up around the bowling alley, that was it because if I didn't even have to get caught inside the bowling alley, if I was just caught on the other side of the fence, I would have got hit with a trespassing charge right then and there. Oh yeah. So when I when they were a lost cause and uh, I didn't feel like looking through the pile of rubble because I'm like I was only in a t-shirt and that was like just bare steel. I'm like I didn't feel like cutting up all my arms. Yeah. And I'll take her down to medium speed. Although I really don't want you to not want it. Yeah, like. And uh, this is not the original down rod length. I probably cut like this much off the down rod just because if I had the original down rod, the motor was like here to me, and I'm like, I don't feel comfortable with that. Plus, my dad would hit his head off of it. Yeah. At, at first, he was like a little ups, like uh, reluctant with me putting a fan in here, but the more and more it's in, the, the longer it's been in here, the more he uses it, and he actually likes it now. Did Did you put this electrical in, or was it originally just a light? Like an. Oh no, this, anything that is the white wires, this was all redone by me. These used to hang on chains. These used to sway, and I'm like, I, I've almost no, I've almost knocked it into the fan before, and I'm like, that's the whole reason I bolted them to the ceiling, because I was afraid I was going to hit one with something, and swing the light right into the fan. Uh -oh. And that would not have been a fun time. But yeah, you saw how fast that thing was. Yeah. This control has such a nice range of speeds, that because they're like such heavy steel blades, it'll probably take a little while for it to get down to speed. I would grab the motor to slow it down, but like right now, I bet you that motor is pretty hot. Oh yeah, that's one. Wow. Yeah, I don't understand all four of these. This one's dated February of 99, which is like nine months before I was born. And uh, yeah, these things ran 24-7 for how so until the bowling alley closed down, so huh. I guess yeah. that's okay. When you were first there, I really wish you got all of them at yeah, once. Yeah, I know. The only problem is I had this, and I only had a small duffel bag, and I already had two bowling pins in it. So I took a couple <laughs> bowling pins too. Really? Did you have to do that? Yeah, for souvenirs. My sister wanted one, and I wanted one. Because we both grew up going there, so my sister wanted a souvenir, and I'm like, sure, I can do that. All right. Oh, yes. and. You know, I actually—it's still, it's still slowing down. I actually noticed this light here. I wonder, I wonder. This would I, I can think of this being another fan here. Uh, the only problem with putting a fan right here is when we bring the truck up on the ramps, it's always like right up to here with the ceiling. So if there was a fan, I'd have to keep taking it down. That's why if I put another fan right between right here, there would be with the obstructed anything, and here would be out of the way. I thought you were putting in a gold line somewhere here. Yep, yeah, right, right on that, yeah, on the other end. So oh, I'm gonna yeah. have a silver line and a gold line. Oh. So yeah, um... Or another one I want, I really want the chrome silver line. It's so nice. But yeah, this, it goes from very fast to very slow. I, I got this control for $10 from so paying the entire time. Yeah, I wish... Yeah, I wish I had a bigger garage. Uh, one of my dad's friends uh, has a uh, has a big garage uh, in, in the back of his house. His house is very new. And it, and it like, built in 2008 or seven, I think it was eight. That's not bad. It has, and you know, in his house, there. I know he has two Monte Carlos Ooh. in the living room and kitchen. It's a high ceiling in there, and then, then upstairs in an attic, there's. I can't remember what those fans were actually. <laughs> and then, uh, I was very surprised in his uh, back garage. Um, like he has, he has one garage in the house, but then, but then uh, another garage and outside and. There's a there's a can arm industrial in that garage. Not bad. I was I it, I was so surprised to see that and I I didn't know where the switch was when I was there first time. And I kept searching for the switch, but when I was looking when I saw the hangers, I I actually uh, moved one of the coats and there was the switch. Really? So I st <laughs> I started turning it on and going through the speeds. Nice. Uh, what I was gonna do if I rescued all four. I have uh, one of my great uncles who lives way out in the country, 
he has a really big like warehouse garage he built himself. I was gonna put two of these in here, and I was gonna give the other two to him to use in his shop. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like, hey, here you go. If you ever want to take them down or you want to replace them, let me know because I want these back. Yes. Um. Just like when Dan lent Tommy those two, um, those two cannons. So I don't know if they were old enough to be considered tax. Yes. Oh, this is an older silver one. Cause it's got the uh, silver logo. Yeah. That's so. That, the actual silver line itself is in pretty rough shape too. Yeah. I can read you that. And then. Um, yeah, my, my high school has my oh, it, which what my high school had has these. It was my high school, not anymore, because I just graduated this year. There were six of these in the cafeteria and twelve of them in the gym. Why is there no date on this? I don't know. The ones in the gym, I don't. They look like they're older than the ones in the cafeteria because the cords for the they're they're all plug-in model and the cords for the ones in the gym are black and the ones in the cafeteria are white. And I, this one, yeah, this one's obviously a hard wire. Yeah. But, anyways, I think I concluded the tour now. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you show Reese this one? Oh, this yeah. This one's kind of in rough shape. <laughs> and uh, this is for you, Reese. Yeah. And you can see the uh, wiggles in here. That's because of all the times um, it's been on the ground when I'm working on the truck, and I'll get out and not pay attention. I'll just, will not pay attention, I'll kick it. I've oh. bent it from kicking it so many times, and it's, I've never broken the blades on this one, so I'm, I was pretty happy about that. Okay. Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour, and um, after this we're going to be testing some fans. So thanks for watching, and uh, remember to comment and rate and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.